The lubricating oil flow begins as oil is drawn by the gyrotor pump from the oil pan through the rigid internal suction tube. The suction tube delivers oil to the gyrotor oil pump. The pump then delivers the lubricating oil through an internal drilling in the cylinder block to the bottom of the oil cooler. The oil flows to the top of the oil cooler through the inner channels of the oil cooler cover. At the top of the oil cooler, the oil flows to the oil cooler bypass valve. If the oil is cold, the bypass valve will be open, allowing some oil to bypass the cooler and flow to the filter, which reduces engine parasitic loads and improves efficiency. This also helps the oil reach operating temperature quicker. As the temperature of the oil increases and the viscosity decreases, the bypass valve closes and directs the oil flow through the cooler element. The oil cooler element cools the oil as it is moved through the plates and coolant is passed on the outside of the plates. From the cooler, the oil flows to the combination oil filter, the filter bypass valve, and the pressure regulator. The original ISC design, the regulator valve remains closed until the main oil rifle pressure is approximately 50 psi. As pressure increases, the valve opens, uncovering the dump port and allowing some oil to drain back to the inlet side of the pump. L engines, ISC CM850 engines, and ISC CM554 engines, modified as previously discussed. The pressure regulator directs the flow of excess oil from the oil regulator to the oil pan rather than to the inlet side of the pump. This allows the pump to bypass enough oil to regulate the oil pressure to the desired range without too much restriction to the flow of oil. At normal operating temperature, minimum oil pressure at low idle is 10 psi. At rated speed, minimum pressure is 30 psi. A combination oil filter is used on these engines. The upper section of the filter contains the full flow filter element, while the lower section contains the bypass element. Oil passing through the full flow portion of the oil filter flows to the main oil rifle. Oil flowing through the bypass portion of the filter returns to the inlet side of the oil pump. During normal engine operation, oil circulates through the full flow section of the combination filter and into the main oil rifle. However, if the full flow section becomes plugged to the point that a 50 psi pressure difference exists between the filter in and filter out, the bypass valve opens in the oil filter head and routes unfiltered oil to the main oil rifle to lubricate the engine. To measure the pressure difference across the filter, a filter in pressure port and a filter out pressure port are integral parts of the filter head. The turbocharger oil supply line is connected with a straight thread O-ring supply fitting in the filter head. The supply line directs the filtered oil under pressure to the turbocharger. Once in the turbocharger, the oil flows to the bearing journals and the thrust bearing. Once the oil has passed through the bearings, it flows under gravity back into the engine oil pan sump through the turbocharger drain line. Once the oil is cooled and filtered, a cross drilling over the number 3 main bearing carries it across the block to the main oil rifle.